Hey everybody, welcome to continue watching. My name is Anton. This is Tyler. I'm Trey. I like tall women with big asses. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> uh, and today we are watching Jujutsu Kaisen Part 2. This is episodes 13 through 24. Uh, again, still available on HBO Max and Crunchyroll. Uh, apparently it's on Netflix, but it's probably another region. So if you see it there, awesome for you. Um, VPN that shit. Yeah, VPN. So This episode brought to you by NordVPN. <laughs> and Rage Nord, Shadow come Legends. On. Spot and sponsor us. <laughs> you won't. Scared bitch. It better help. <laughs> dot com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It's brought to you by Honey and our friends at Manscaped. <laughs> Alrighty. So... Uh, we finally able to finish uh, season one, which uh, I think honestly holds up uh, as, if not better, to the first half. What do you guys oh, think? Yeah. Oh, I think it's better than the first half. Definitely. I feel like that's the case with almost every anime we watch. Yeah. It's well, I mean, it is. It is not that fair to be like, oh, the first half is not as good because it's like it's just season one. Season one as a whole is great. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can agree with that. I mean, you definitely uh, get certain like ch uh, challenges and things that you have to do always in the first half of, you know, there's a lot of setup and introductions that you have to get out there before you can really start to run with it. So, yeah. Yeah. And it just depends on how fast you can do that or how well, mm -hmm. but I think I was talking with Trey last night because we hung out without you, Anton on oh. purpose. Oh, we even went down to where you live, <laughs> and we got an Airbnb right next door. And we hung out, and we said, "Don't tell Anton about this." This is starting and to feel like my high school this. days. <laughs> I'll see you in fifth period, nerd. <laughs> but I think the best part about season two is like episode twenty three and twenty four, mm -hmm. where it shows Megami and. What is his name? Fugasaki? Yeah. Mm. The they, Fushi they are bad at... No. The Ooh. girl. That's... Oh, okay, I was thinking you were talking about... Okay, never mind. Sorry, continue. Yeah. Megumin is Fushiguro. Yeah. Is it... It's yeah. a fucking name. I think it is Fugasaki. Yeah. That's, Tutu, that's tutu. correct. Poo -poo -pee -pee. <laughs> they looked badass. Like, they did a really good job of showing just how strong those two are because up until that point i was kind of worried that it was going to be just like oh we just got to rely on itadori to do everything but damn when he did his like incomplete domain mm -hmm. and then she beat the shit out of both of those two well i mean she didn't really beat the shit out of the the guy with the weird back but she killed him yeah and I, I really got to give uh, her some points on that with her little straw doll technique and literally driving those nails into herself to deal damage oh, yeah. to them. I was like, dang, she's savage. <laughs> she's OP. But yeah, I that's that's what really did it for me. Made me like the like the anime. I definitely like that their progression in their skills is not fast, like. They are, of course, grinding, getting better uh, always, but it's not like, oh, I just learned this random OP technique two minutes ago, and now I'm going to start using it all the time. But I mean, it's kill. <laughs> I mean, that's a little bit to Itadori, but there's a little bit of kind of a reason behind it. But mm -hmm. there's still so much uh, that they can do that they haven't even done. That just is so amazing. That makes this show so much better. Yeah. I mean, with his Black Flash and stuff, it. I mean, he did have a good teacher, you know? Yeah. The best bro in the show. <laughs> I am curious as to what the power scaling looks like, because does Black Flash just turn out to be not that good? I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I'm hoping that they don't make techniques used in Season 1 irrelevant by the end of Season 2. Because that's I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a shonen thing. I also hope that uh, one of the big bad curses dies. Yeah, I did know that you we had a problem with this not happening. Well, it's just like there's no, like I said, there's no finality. There's no, 
Oh no, they lost. We'll try again next week. Give me something serious that's happening, you know? Mm. But nope, Mahito gets his ass beat, and he's fine. Uh, what's his name? Jogo gets his ass beat, he's fine. Hanami, ass beat, she's fine. It's okay. That Hanami fight was super cool. Give me just one sec, fellas, I'll be right back. Stinky Trey. Come on, dude. My dog has learned where his collar and toys are stored and so gets very upset if we don't use them on him. Mm -hmm. I don't like the sound. Oh, you're gross. Don't be gross. Do you know who is not gross? Gucci girl. He's funny. And he is. A quick quick, uh, nod to the voice uh, actor, the dub voice actor of Fushiguro. Uh, He plays Moomin Rider. Oh, really? Yeah. (laughs) Wow. What a range. That's cool. Good for him. Yeah. He does a good job with both. Mm Mm-hmm. He's been uh, around apparently for a bit, all the way back to like Sailor Moon from 1993. Say, was he Sailor Moon or Sailor <laughs> Jupiter? No, uh, I don't even know the character uh, Mamoru Chiba. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, was. fan favorite. Yep, Mamoru Chiba. But he does He's that <laughs> one character. Yeah, yeah, that one character. But he has some really good roles too. He's a killer T cell in uh, Cells at Work, <laughs> as well. If you haven't seen Cells at Work, I, hi- I extremely recommend it. Um, and then also he played uh, Hotaru, uh, the guy that makes the swords in Demon Slayer. Hmm. I think I've only, I only remember his voice in Japanese. So, but good for him. Way to be a credited voice actor. And talented. So let me ask you guys this. Who would win in a fight? Right? Panda okay. versus uh, Mahito. Mahito. You think? No. I don't know. The whole cursed soul thing is, or cursed doll thing is interesting. Yeah. Can Mahito change curses? Do curses have souls? Oh. I'm guessing because he does, right? I think. Mahi, there's more to Mahito than we know because of the last two episodes where the, the last two curses actually had physical bodies and then um, the other uh, curses and stuff that we've uh, faced didn't have uh, actual bodies and like disappeared and stuff after death. So I'm thinking like well, it's that a special wasn't, situation. That wasn't Mahito that did that. That's because those... Those three, those cursed womb death paintings. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. We don't know if Mahito is well, one of them, like, in, in that situation. I doubt he is, dude. I don't think, because it's, it just, it seemed like it was those three. It seems to me like, uh, the, whatever that squid thing's name is that we haven't seen. Hanami, Jogo, and Mahito are like curses or cursed spirits that, came from like primal fears that's how i see him but i don't think that he's part of the death paintings mm-hmm. although it did say that she had nine and this is only three of them true but i don't know to me it didn't show that there was any connection between the three and him but i could be wrong i am often <laughs> i guess we'll find out in season two or three if, they're, if they get two. that far. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. I really hope so, because this is a good show. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I, I, I don't know. I would, I would just assume that they'd make new seasons quick, but I've done that before, and it's like, yeah, we'll make a season in three years. <laughs> Why? Is this not popular? Mm, no answer. No comment. Three years. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, you kind of uh, as well got to take into consideration the type of market you have in Japan. There is so many manga that are cre- that's created uh, on a, a weekly basis, and then so uh, all of those animation studios are as well have to choose from light novels, manga, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I mean, they just have so much to choose from that it's yeah. it's very oversaturated. 
I yeah, but I don't think there any of them have had quite the impact that Jujutsu Kaisen's had because it's been it's like taken off over there. It's I think it's Shonen Jump's like number two uh, series right now after One Piece. Yeah. It's reached thirty million copies sold. Wow, which I for mean, the, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gives me a lot of hope because I mean, you get Hero My Hero Academia who's on season five right now, which is insane. Um, uh, Attack on Titans on season four, which is un- uh, going to be their last season, but uh, and uh, Dr- Demon Slayer is continuing one as well. So it definitely gives me a lot of hope for it. Yeah. A uh, little statistic when this show aired in October, when it premiered, mm-hmm. the, the manga or manga, however you think I should say it, had over 8 million copies in circulation. And since then, it's gone up to 30. Cool. As of February. Wow. So it got really popping, dude. Yeah, it's so this is a big, big one. So I'm hoping that they'll be like, oh, maybe we should just, I don't know. Make season two. Yeah, it's, I think I think it's already like in the works. Uh, the site that I generally get all of my information on for anime uh, it has an all-time list, and right now it's currently at number fourteen at uh, popular all, of all time. The only type of things that are in uh, in front of it are like Attack on Titan, My Hero, uh, Tokyo Ghoul, One Punch Man, Full Metal Alchemist. Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon's actually not on there. <laughs> Top five. What? Yeah. I don't know where Sailor Moon lands on her because it's not anywhere close. <laughs> mm, sounds like that list was made by edgy internet. It teams. is. It definitely is user reviews. So who? Uh, so we don't really. If you want to <laughs> take that into consideration is what I'm saying. <laughs> Season two has not been officially announced. No. Too bad. But they th- they're thinking that there's going to be a release date in 2022. Killer. I'm looking. This just makes me look forward to Chainsaw Man even more. They have a lot in common. Cannot wait. It's, it's literally the same show. It's it's real close. Where there's devils based off the collective fear of humanity, but have certain powers. Oh no! I'm terrified. What will happen if I don't get coochie? <laughs> Help! Will a coochie devil appear? Um, I don't know if there's a vagina devil. Hmm. There's like eternity devils and control devils and there's primal fear devils. That's why I thought about this as soon as you said something. Yeah, lack of coochie is a primal fear. (laughs) (laughs) What zero coochie does to an MF. Did you guys have um, a favorite after credit scene? (laughs) Um, I'm still going for the episode nine. Uh, the, the skirt the, one? No, the the, oh, the, the penis secret note. Yeah, the the secret note. That one was pretty funny. I liked the skirt one until I saw the the <laughs> Fushi girls getting hit on. <laughs> <laughs> that one fucking killed me. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite. <laughs> I love that all their responses were like, "Okay, well, let's we'll pretend we're all banging Fushi Goro." <laughs> Go just was it the best? <laughs> I'm going to try something new. I'm going to have you master Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> oh, but they have really good characters in this show. That's that's another thing that I think the show is going for. It. Strong characters. Like, I don't want to compare it to Naruto because I don't think they're that comparable. But Naruto, I don't think the characters are that good. Naruto isn't that good of an anime. Naruto was good at the time. Back way back when, it, it just it doesn't hold up to today's selection. Sure, yeah, but I don't live back then. I live today. True. I'm going to compare it accordingly. Well, I'm not. I'm not. Dis- uh, I'm not disagreeing. Just like, with you. just like, <laughs> like people in ancient times, they were not that good at computers <laughs> at all. <laughs> Ever heard of Control C, Control V? <laughs> Dumbass. I do. Yeah, appreci- characters aren't that good. Yeah. In Naruto compared, and then I really, I kind of said this already, but the fact that it's not just Itadori who's strong, you know, mm-hmm. is nice because it's like a shonen, but everyone is strong. The main characters are all strong. 
I mean, I really want to see Gujo, uh, Gojo go all out, though. Because after the examination, when he literally shoots, like, a spirit bomb through a mountain, it was insane. So I really want to see him, like, at a, in a serious fight. It would be way cooler. Because mm-hmm. if he actually killed... <laughs> True. Autonomy. <laughs> but no... I can tell you, he should, yeah, but there is an arc coming up in the next, that would show up in the next anime where it's Gojo's past. And you get to see him fight somebody and Gojo straight up almost dies. Like it's, it's real close fight. So I think you'll be excited to see that. It's as far as the manga is concerned was one of the coolest fights there. I might have to start reading the manga. It's real good. I really like the, the art as well. Hey cat, you want to read the manga too? Oh, you don't know how to read, huh? <laughs> my my only issues about reading manga is that I prefer anime over manga. And so the fact that the manga goes ahead makes me not want to read it because I don't want to spoil the anime. I mean, I feel that, but it's also like, well, I'm not going to read the uh, Lord of the Rings books until I watch the movies. The books are out. They're a good read. You should read them. And then watch the movies. That's what I think. Same with this. The manga's already out. Well, maybe so I just read need the to... fucking manga. <laughs> well, maybe I just need to read up to where um, season one ends, and then wait. How about that. Try it. I I think you'll be hooked. <laughs> well, I'm I'm trying to start to get into manga, but I just feel like I don't have enough time as well. On top I of that, on top of all of it, <laughs> I have never the. <laughs> The only manga or comic I've ever read was, uh, what's that one about Tails getting bullied? Oh, <laughs> that whole thing. Tails. I've read most of it. Yeah. I have not finished it. Because it was just so fucking funny. <laughs> but that's it. That's the only thing I've, like, media that I've read in that regard. Man, Tails gets trolled is something else. Tails gets that's what it is. Antone, somebody wrote a comic and they drew ever and it's got every video game character you can think of. Oh, and you, Bunny. you've told me before, yes. Well, you should read it. <laughs> I started to, but I'm like, the, the, <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> every time I move, I break my bones, but my body heals fast. That's stupid. That almost actually sounds like an, a fight from my hero academia, actually. It's, it is. My Hero ripped off, Tails gets trolled. Probably. I mean, My Hero Academia is technically supposed to be a ripoff of Marvel. I think that was like when uh, Season 1 came out, that he heavily, like, it was heavily in, uh, influenced by Marvel, the, the creator said. So, who knows? Don't quote me on that, though, because I, <laughs> I can't back it up. <laughs> he was like, hey, this is heavily influenced by Marvel. Marvel Comics. Like, mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I I want to know more about uh, what's his name? Okotsu? <gasps> Yuta? Oh. They're releasing a movie that's coming out soon. That's uh, that's the pre because there was a prequel arc to Jujutsu Kaisen. He wrote a like a four chapter prequel following Yuta, and they're making that into a movie. When? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, not Demon Slayer movie. Um, the tree, the teaser trailer projects a winter 2022 release, which means early next year. My God, dude, <laughs> I know why it takes forever, but just release the shit now. Oh, six months for a show. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Every, no, everyone needs the binge mo- uh, model. <laughs> Hey, Japan, here's a hint. <laughs> Draw faster. <laughs> but don't dip in the quality. It's easy. Control C, control V. Yeah, Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> Pump that shit out at uh, masterpiece levels. And I won't complain. Don't tell me, oh, it's so too hard. And blah, blah, blah. No, just do it. Nobody likes it taking forever. This is stupid. I'm pissed. Why are you pissed? I'm gonna go beat my wife. (laughs) 
Because I don't want to wait that long. Just read the manga. I can't read, Trey. I'm 19, and I need to learn how to fucking read. Lies. <laughs> Bullshit. Can you someone read so? it to me? Sure, come over. Okay, we can have little, little yeah, book you can, club meetings. You can also tuck him into in the bed and kiss his forehead goodnight when you're done. Some more milk. <laughs> now I want you to dress up as Gojo. <laughs> And teach me the violin. Make it like a little star. So what happened in part two? They fought Hanami, right? So they it first they, starts they out. They finish with, the fight with Mahito. Yes, uh, and then they go into the um, the competition, whatever it's called. Mm, yeah. And then that takes up uh, pretty much most of the episodes in the second half, and then they jump into the the bridge. They jump into the bridge. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. So did you guys have a favorite part? Uh, Allie and Yuji's introduction. Mm, that one was good. I also really enjoyed... I just like Allie a bunch, and I liked that he's like, and my brother, Yuji yeah. Itadori. <laughs> I liked after the fight when Yuji was like running away. He was like, look, I, I don't, don't know, know what happened. Is. Yeah. And then... <laughs> That fucking scene in the baseball episode where Aoi gets hit with the ball. Everyone's like, hey, nice pitch. <laughs> right. Nice pitch, Everyone monkey. hates him. <laughs> wow, bro. Everyone hates you. <laughs> I mean, everyone hates you. Which is too bad, because he is just the best. I like the, like, not really flashbacks, but the little flashbacks uh of the Kyoto team with Aoi and how he interacts with them. Like when he was like, Hey, don't tell me what to do or I'll kill you. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to go, I need to go watch, uh, whatever Taka does or whatever the idol's name is. I need to go watch your performance. And Kamo's like, you can record it on DVR. He's like, you idiot. I'm going to watch and record it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the the final scene when he got uh, Mai introduced. I, I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. Dude, that idol's that idol's into Mai. Why is Mai even a sorcerer? She can't do shit. She's part of the Zenin clan, which I think is important later. I know. She was kind of forced to be a sorcerer because Maki did. But just like, ugh. I mean... Her and her sister both don't really have any power. It's just the fact that they, um, uh, uh Maki's just the weapons expert. I mean, Mai has a little bit of power, but all she yeah, can do is the summon the one expert bullet. is still badass, dude. Yes. <laughs> Where I mean, I'm not is... saying that's bad. I'm just saying, uh, I'm saying yeah. that's likely uh, to the the reasons to why. Because I mean, all Toge has is he says, <laughs> "That's it," and he can't even do it that much. Maki's cooler. Maki's like one of the coolest second years. Her and Panda. I like Panda more than I like Maki. <laughs> I like Panda, but I I appreciate Maki and what she brings to the table. You know, mm-hmm. I want to. I really want to know more about Panda, though, especially with his other sides, because you don't what get to more see him. No. Well, I want. We haven't seen the the sister yet. Oh. We've only seen Panda, and then Panda and Gorilla. Gorilla. Uh, Not Clayton. Ooh, uh, uh. <laughs> what do you think the sister is? A horse? I was thinking an elephant. Why an elephant? Because mm-hmm, they're durable, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> again, it was a guess. I like that Megami takes out an elephant and then he never does it again. <laughs> it's because he's still trying to can be able to control him. Isn't that what he said? Wait, can you not? Can he not get more spirits? Like he gets ten max, and once they die, they're done. And he can't get a new one to replace it. When they die, they're done. But they also change. Like his white wolf died, or maybe it was his black wolf. One of the wolves died. The white wolf. It was the white one. Yeah, the white one died, and then it came back as like the power was well, absorbed it, it by the black. Combined with the yeah, black. Combined. Yeah. What so I'm maybe... saying is, does he just have slots and once that? spirit is done that slot's burned up i don't know i i couldn't i think they said something like it but i couldn't i couldn't tell what they meant 
I couldn't tell if they meant like, yeah, once a spirit dies, it's dead and he can't get a new one to replace it. Or it's just the spirit is dead and you can't bring it back. I think it's just the the spirit can't come back because the oh, the the key thing that I remembered um, of the elephant was that he only barely was able to start to control it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I, I, when that process started, uh, I mean, could be the answer as to that question, but who knows? Mm. If only there was like a source material I could read. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll never know. Gonna have to go on Reddit. Have to find a Jujutsu Kaisen Discord channel and probably be sexually assaulted. Yeah, I thought the uh, the Haname fight was probably the coolest besides the bridge, just because of the the bridge. Those two, those two were cool. Well, yeah, and we were like you were saying earlier, it made uh, man Kugi Rocky. Why are you forgetting her name? It's uh, Kugisaki. Yeah, Kugisaki. Kugi. I was Kugisaki. I thought was just gonna be another Sakura. Another I thought, bitch. yep. I thought she was gonna be useless and kind of shitty for no reason. And so, like when <laughs> Yuji picked her up and ran away, and I was like, "Oh man, he's gonna go back and beat him by himself." Nope. Turns out she's a badass, and she talks a lot of shit in the meantime. I dig mm-hmm. that. How would you kill the younger one? And she's like, "Don't worry, I'll send your brother to your older brother to see you soon." <laughs> yeah. Like, other, other than uh, her driving the nails into her own arms to, to hurt them, I think my second favorite part was when she was actually being dragged into the the portal into the other world, uh, where, to the new location, um, where he the Fushiguro was uh, starting to get worried, and she was just like, no, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> and she <laughs> does like, a whole super fucking confident. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I like the part afterwards, because Damn, she's always getting sucked into things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she uh kind of a monster. Yeah, she's OP, dude. I mean, each of them are going to be OP against certain spear or curse matchups, but she's strong. Cuz it seems like she can just kill basically anyone. Yeah. If she's got the right part of them, yeah, it seems like it. Mhm. She goes, "Oh, huh. See ya, bye." See ya, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. That, uh, death painting or... Yeah, that death painting, Iso. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was getting a lot of JoJo vibes from him. (laughs) Yeah. Which we finally got Antone to watch some of. (laughs) I'm halfway... you finish season one? I'm halfway through season one. Uh, Wait, season one or part one? Uh, part 17... I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm on like episode 12 or 13 of the first Ah, oh, so Joseph's in, in now? Yes. You got best JoJo, arguably. Yeah. So uh, they just, um, spoiler alert, uh, I figured it out that uh, Speedwagon is still alive. And, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Are, you glad, are, you, are you glad best boy's still alive? <laughs> Best girl speedwagon? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not liking him as an old dude, though, that much. I feel like that's a commentary on society as a whole. We just kind of <laughs> throw away our elderly, and I don't think that's correct. You should really change your ways. Okay. Have, have, has he met the Pillarman yet? I don't know. The uh, I've seen Mark. him. We've seen him, but he's still in there. Um, he hasn't been oh, resurrected yet. Oh, you're the one guy. Santana San Viendo, if you're watching San it in English. <laughs> Bro, and you met uh, freaking what's his name, the German guy. Yes, and th- I, it literally ended on the, <laughs> <laughs> the episode where he's like, yeah, we're going to sacrifice all you people. You have to vote someone. And the kid's like, no, take me. And so they ke- uh, mm-hmm. keep him, and they're going to kill all of the other people, and that's where it ended. The Stromheim, is that his name? I think uh, so. I, I can't give you. Any... German engineering is the greatest in the whole world, don't you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your god didn't save you, though. Bruh, that's the only show I've ever seen where they make Nazis into good guys. <laughs> or the Nazis, the Nazis are at least not bad guys. By completely ignoring everything else except for him. Von Stroheim, that's his name. I'm just going to say that missing out watching the dub. That's true. 
<sighs> the sub is so good. No shade thrown at the voice actors for the dub, but just like I said this last night, just like you can't watch King of the Hill in Japanese, you you shouldn't watch JoJo's. I mean, and if that's how you feel about it, then go for it. I'm not gonna argue that. I mean, it's just dub is my preferred is the only thing. So. Yeah, and your preferred is wrong. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. What well, don't you understand? <laughs> well, it was interesting to see uh, hear Ichigo. Uh, in the first half, Ichigo Kurosaki. Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the Black Power Ranger. The um, one that we always bring up all the time. Oh. <laughs> he played... Johnny um, Young Bosch. Yeah, Johnny Young Bosch, that's his name. Uh, he was uh, the first Jojo. Oh. The one in like the 1800s. The one with the most atrocious English accent I've ever heard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got my wife to watch JoJo's right now. She's like, really? Well, we started watching Gurren Lagann, and she's like, why do we see Yoko's boobs and butts the whole time? And then we watch JoJo's, and she goes, why are they posing so much? Why are they so sexualized? <laughs> because it's hot. I like how fucking swole he gets. They just become mountain of men. They really are, especially when, when Jonathan, after the fight with Dio, and he's in that bed, and he's like laying down taller than Arena. It kind of reminds me of that uh, <laughs> that picture of what is it, Captain America, where he's laying in the hospital bed and it's like he's fucking gigantic. He looks like he's, the fucking Hulk. He's the size of the bed. Yes. Uh, can you imagine being that big? That's disgusting. There is such a thing as too big. If I was that big, I think I'd have like some Omni Man uh, outlook on life, where I'm like. I will burn this planet down if I have to spend another minute living among these animals. <laughs> <laughs> that show has made some of the best memes I've seen in a while. It's, it's so meme worthy. I still think that my favorite is the uh, let's get a pet. <laughs> no, I don't want a pet. Da- oh Dad and the pet. <laughs> I really like they're now showing like some pretty fucking degenerate people. And then it shows that clip from Omni Man. Where he's like, I will burn the planet down if I have to spend another minute with living among these animals. That's probably my new favorite. I don't like the pet one because it makes me upset, Anton. Oh, okay. Good. My my other uh, favorite one would be uh, the uh, Think meme, but it would uh, yeah. change to Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter's laying down and Dumbledore's like, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> think, Harry, think. <laughs> Hey, if you ever feel stupid, just remember, Omni-Man hid incriminating evidence in his own home instead of throwing it in the goddamn sun. <laughs> That's true. There's a few things they changed. Because so Debbie never found out. Nobody ever knew. That's why it was such a cool thing, is that he, nobody knew he was evil until he ripped the immortal in half in front of Mark. <laughs> And then, yeah, covered in the immortal's blood, goes, hey, uh, this isn't how I wanted to tell you this, but... I don't know. I think both are good. And whatever you think. <laughs> you're goddamn right, whatever I think. Yeah, you're goddamn right. I mean, even though what you think is wrong, but... <laughs> uh, no. I'm never wrong, except when I am. Well, it's a good anime. Really good. I'm gonna be the first one, and I'll give it a nine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's going to be consistent across the board because that's mine as well. Uh, no, it's an eight now. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I was going to say we all did eights last time, and I was going to say after part two, definitely raise it to a nine. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I can agree with that. No, give me season two. You gotta wait. You gotta watch a movie first. No. You gotta wait for it to release first. <laughs> <laughs> all right well if we don't have anything else to say about the show then which is obviously such an a great uh such an amazing one um it is it is yep yeah. uh next we are going to watch the nice guys this is available on hulu so if you have a hulu subscription you can go ahead and watch it there um it was released in 2016 and has uh, a pretty good cast. I was actually uh, watching the trailer on this uh, previously, so it looks good. I'm excited to see it. Um, 
Also, don't forget to go ahead and follow us on all of our social medias. You can find links to those at anchor.fm slash continue watching. That's uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and anything else that I may have missed. So go ahead and uh, let us know how we're doing. Even suggest a show if you want. Uh, Let us know what you think of the shows we're watching. Uh, Give us your opinion so we can argue with you, I guess, a little. So uh, go ahead and, again, watch the nice guys. So catch you next time. Bye. Goodbye. Later, nerds.